All right, you guys, today is the day that I am finally gonna be filming my entire crystal collection. This video has been requested so many times and it's finally, it's finally time. <laughs> so I'm gonna share the pieces in my yoga studio slash office. This is where a majority of my crystals live. I'm gonna go through stone by stone. I'm gonna tell you where I got them, if I remember the shop or if they're from my wholesaler or if they're a personal piece that I got from a gem show. I'll try to give you as much information as I can about each of the pieces but let's jump in and get started now we are at my bookshelf I'll put some b-roll in so you can see what the total space looks like and I will start with our very first crystal so the very first crystal I have in my collection is this gorgeous ametrine wand I got this from New York State of Mine and I absolutely love this piece I think I got this in my first or second year collecting that is what the full piece looks like. This piece is from Brazil and amethyst is really good for sleep or anxiety and I love the energy on this piece. So the next piece in my collection is a phosphocitarite tower. I believe this one I got from Unicorn Grove Crystals over on Instagram. She was a Patreon member of mine for a while. Phosphocitarite is this gorgeous purple crystal from Argentina. I did actually leave the price tag on some of the pieces. So I'll show you how much I paid for it, which was $35. The next piece is a piece of pink amethyst. So this is the piece of pink amethyst. This is a pretty large free form. And this is also from Unicorn Grove Crystals, I believe. Betroidal inclusions on it. These are sourced from Brazil. I love the green jasper on it. The next piece is this top polished pink opal piece. I don't actually remember where I got this baby from. I love the color. I love the top polish shape. I love that you get the raw and the polished and I saw the price tag. This one I had paid $22 for. The next piece is a brand new piece to my collection. This is a hemamorphite, and I picked this piece off Etsy. It's actually in a haul that's on my channel right now. Hemamorphite is a more uncommon material, and I didn't have any of it in my collection. Absolutely stunning. This next piece is a Shungun Amethyst piece, and it has rainbows on it. This I actually got from the Minnesota Gem Show and decided to keep it for myself because it is so incredibly beautiful. I do still have some pieces from the same supplier in this quality and smaller pieces. I'm going to show these next two pieces together because they're both mukite. These are both very colorful pieces. They're also pretty large, but I love Mukite Jasper. If you've been with me from the beginning, you know I had an obsession with Mukite Jasper for a while. This one had a price tag on it. 21 is what I paid, and this one must have been similar. I believe I got these from Bees, Sage, and Crystals. The next piece is this Tiffany stone. I can't remember the shop that I got this from, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It kind of looks like a little surfboard or half of a surfboard, but the inclusions on it are just so so pretty. This comes from Utah and Tiffany stone can actually be really good for intimacy. So I love this piece. And this next piece is a big bumblebee jasper tower. This is not the biggest one I have, believe it or not. This I actually ended up keeping from a supplier because I was obsessed with bumblebee jasper for a while. Still am. Big powerful piece of bumblebee jasper and these come from Indonesia. So the the next crystal is a super simple one, but it is really sparkly. This is just a lapidolite palm stone. Lapidolite is so good for anxiety, but you can see how flashy this one is. And these come from Brazil. Next piece is actually a man-made piece. This is a piece of terahertz. In its raw form. I absolutely love this crystal. It <laughs> looks like it's straight out of space, which is super cool. It actually melts ice if you put it in ice or snow. And this one has a little druzy pocket. <laughs> it's super affordable. It's a fun stone, especially for beginning collectors. I think it's great for kids. Next is this really beautiful shell. So technically not a crystal. The opalescence on here is 
so incredible the pattern is so incredible i actually picked this up from a crystal shop in north carolina i just love the energy of this piece i love the effect you get when you move it around it's just such a soothing special piece next is a piece i absolutely love this is imperial jasper and it is pretty unique i love the pink and green combo pink and green are absolutely my favorite color combination so i really love this material just for the coloration that comes and then it has just a white back it's a pretty large piece and it's very uncommon oh my gosh it kind of looks like the united states like <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of an uncommon piece. This side has been polished just to show off the color. And this I got at the Minnesota Gem Show. And I think it was from the Rock Shop. They're one of the only vendors who carries Imperial Jasper in this size. Next piece is this Roto Crocite piece. This is incredibly stunning. Probably one of my favorite Roto Crocite pieces. Just because of the layers and the raw and the coloration is just super high quality. This I got from New York State of Mine. And you guys, I will say sorry if my arms are a little shaky. I just finished my yoga class. If you see my hands or my arms shaky, it's just because I just worked out. So they're just feeling a little weak. <laughs> Forgive the shakiness. I'm okay. Next piece is this little pink opal skull. This, I don't know why I said it like that. Skull. Pink opal skull. <laughs> this I got from New York State of mine as well. Just a really cute little piece. I wanted a pink opal skull for a very long time. Next, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection that <laughs> I'll probably never sell just because of how incredible the color is. But this is a crazy lace unicorn and I got this this from my supplier years ago and I kept a handful of the unicorns because first of all he doesn't have these anymore. I think I have one left that I still need to sell and I've been holding on to it but the pink in this and the swirls and the patterns is so incredible. I absolutely love this piece and it self stands just beautifully. The next piece is this adorable pink opal spider. This is another one I got from my supplier. I love how beautiful the carving is now you guys i am absolutely terrified of spiders but who wouldn't love a pink spider like if you saw a pink spider in your house like wouldn't you love it <laughs> it's so cute i sold these for a little while i love how juicy and dark the pink is and it's just such a cool unique piece i do have a couple of bug pieces in my collection and i don't like bugs but i love them in crystal form the next piece is this peruvian top polished piece this i believe i got from bees sage and that crystals and it's just a big chunky piece it kind of looks like ice cream i just love the pink color and this one i paid 28 dollars for really cool piece the next piece is this adorable pink sea jasper ghost this was one i just kept from my supplier i just loved how cute it was i love the patterning i remember i was listing it to sell and then i was like no <laughs> i gotta keep it it's just so cute the next piece is this orange carnelian orca agate i picked this up off an etsy shop that i featured in one of my small business crystal hauls and i still absolutely love this piece i love the shape i love that it's a free form i love the polish and i love the color and these are from madagascar the next piece is this flower agate owl this one again was one from my supplier that i just felt really drawn to and wanted to keep i used to sell these all the time but actually haven't been able to get my hands on really beautiful owls our next crystal is this super beautiful pink amethyst and it has these gorgeous plumes on it this of course is from brazil but it is so glittery and pretty and this is from felicia over at chakra gem jewels i have tons of pieces around the house that you will see from her so the next piece is this super flashy tiger's eye dolphin i think he's actually flashier on this side this one is so cute i love it little face this is from my supplier and i have a rose quartz one as well next i have this little baby spirit quartz i have tons of aura spirit quartz but this is the only non-aura spirit quartz that i have but it's a really beautiful quality. Next is this little onyx shark. It's actually a pretty big shark. I paid $44 for him. This was from Moon Goddess 
gems. I love sharks, <laughs> they're just so cool. And I know this isn't a crystal, but these are all the shark teeth I've collected by hand over the years. So I keep this next to my shark. And there is a little shark bottle topper that I collected these on the beach in Florida as a kid. Okay, and the next piece is that giant spirit quartz from the Crystal Fairy, who I absolutely love and adore. I am gonna grab this piece out. <laughs> it is quite heavy, so let's get her down. All right, there she is. She is stunning. She is beautiful. She is graceful. She is probably six pounds, maybe more, but honestly, one of my favorite, most magical pieces I've ever had. So stunning. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually lower you down to the next level here. All right, let's start with the next two shelves. So the first piece down here is an angelite top polish point. I honestly, I think this one was from New York State of Mine as well. And this one I paid just $16 for. But I love the blue color and the iron on this piece. It's really beautiful. Next, this is a super cool piece. It's a turquoise piece of petrified wood. And I got this one off of Etsy. Oh, and I love it. It is so incredible. This is probably one of my favorite, most unique pieces. It was a little expensive, but it is is very very cool and that petrified wood piece sits on this green fluoride slab from Mexico this was the first time I was introduced to Mexican fluoride and it has been my mission to carry it ever since and I now have it in the most beautiful palm stones in the world so so gorgeous next piece is this blue tiger's eye skull oh my gosh i never noticed this before but it has the polish mini rocks stuck in it <laughs> this is actually from my supplier and i used to be super obsessed with blue tiger's eye because it is pretty rare and i loved it in this jumbo skull so that was one i ended up keeping oh he has a little rock in his nose too that is so funny i never noticed that before and then i also have a mini one this one is from a steel tree and it is very flashy and I love the little yellow spot on his face. I got this from their live sale maybe four years ago. Next is this black aura piece. This of course I got from the crystal fairy. You can very much see my fingerprints on it so forgive my fingerprints but really cool piece. I love the chunky wands. I think they are very much a powerful shape. Next I have this piece of chrysocolla and malachite. I just love the banding and I actually do have pieces like this in my shop that I just need to list but this one I got from a gem show I think I got this one in North Carolina but really cool piece I love how rich the chrysocolla colors are on it next is another one of those unicorns I kept from my supplier this is actually Amazonite and I just love the ombre effect it's just so magical so this is another one that I really really love you don't see these giant unicorn heads anymore. Next piece is this blue and green fluorite wand. This one I got from New York State of Mine and I love this piece. It's a piece I've never wanted to let go of. It's like the perfect size and it has rainbows but I just adore the color and the polish on it. It's a really incredible piece. Next is this little raw piece of chrysoprase. I actually got this at one of the Minnesota gem and this was my one of my first times actually purchasing chrysoprase but I was just really drawn to the deep rich color of it and I thought why not have a raw piece and I do have tumbles in my shop right now of chrysoprase if you're interested. Next is this hot polish blue onyx piece. This one I got from Schematic Crystals on Etsy and I really love the banding on this piece. I love the translucency and the color. It's just very calming and soothing. <laughs> Next you guys might laugh at me for having this but it's a piece of green glass. Now the vendor told me this was authentic green obsidian and I do <laughs> believe him but I've also had people say it's like glass. Either way I love it. I'm personally drawn to it. Reminds me of like kryptonite <laughs> for Superman <laughs> and this one actually does have quite a bit of rainbows. It has rainbows right here and rainbows here and I think it has a lot of rainbows all over it. It's just a cool piece and it was very affordable. Next is this aragonite slab. I 
just love the color and banding. I love the brown. I love the holes. Usually I place crystals on these types of pieces or jewelry, but I just have this one as a standalone slab for now. Next is this moss agate tower. This is one I actually got from my supplier and I was photographing it to list and I just decided to keep it. I love the color so much. I love the depth of it. I just loved everything about it. I couldn't sell it. I couldn't let it go. And it's probably one of the only pieces of moss agate that I actually have, but I adore it. Next is this super cool snake. This is from one of my suppliers as well. It's actually a gold sheen obsidian snake. The flash isn't really showing up, but it's just really beautifully carved. I gotta keep one. I've sold a bunch of them before and I haven't had them in a while, so let me know if you guys would be interested in these obsidian snakes again. Next is this. I actually believe this is sky blue quartz. I think it was sold to me as Kirby and Calcite. Still gorgeous nonetheless. It's really, really beautiful and large. This was from Moon Goddess Gems. I paid 120 for it and I still adore it. It is such a cool skull. It's one of the larger skulls that I have. Next piece is this little sea jasper skull. I love the pastels. I love the dots. I love just like all of the little colors on here. It is just one of the coolest little skulls. I honestly can't remember where I got this. I think I got it from a supplier and decided to keep it because I just couldn't get over the colors and the it's almost like pointillism. Next is a bumblebee jasper skull. I got this direct from Indonesia and I paid so much money for it. Some of the big bumblebee jasper skulls I have are more affordable than this one. This was one of the more intricate carvings and this was back when bumblebee jasper was really brand new to the market but I still love it nonetheless. Next is this cobra jasper freeform. The colors on it are like so beautiful. It has this gorgeous lilac and brown and white and green and mint. It just has a beautiful range of coloring and I got this one on Etsy direct from a shop in India and this material comes from India and I've been able to carry it just a few times from the gem shows. The next piece in my collection is this fluorite cicada. I had so many people ask about this one and I actually had another piece that I sold a while back. These were from my supplier's personal collection and he let me buy them for a very good price but they are so special. This is the only one I kept the other one I sold but I still have a special connection to this piece. It's beautifully carved. Super cool. Then next piece is a Herkimer diamond piece. I picked this one up at the North Carolina gem show. It has a lot of natural lines on it and it has a ton of rainbow and it's not polished it was just pulled out of the ground like that it matches the let me show you it kind of matches this piece it really complements the shape of this piece so I think I'll actually have these two pieces sit together the next two pieces are bumblebee jasper this one I got from the celestial tree and this one I got from Alan at Earth Glow. Love these two pieces together. And this next piece is a garden quartz tower I actually got from my supplier. That when I saw it, I just absolutely loved it. And I still really love this piece. It just is so incredibly unique. I am so sorry for the construction work beeps. They weren't <laughs> working when I started filming. All right, let's move down to the very bottom of the shelf. Let's see if I can do this gracefully. So the first piece here, I have this druzy pink amethyst chunky little crescent moon. I believe this is from Jen from Earth Prescribed. I got a bunch of my pink amethyst shapes from her. So cute. This is another pink amethyst free form. Very druzy, very pink, gorgeous quality. And this one I got from Unicorn Grove Crystals. It matches the other one I got. Next is this Desert Rhyolite. It does have another name, but I honestly can't remember the name. I got this one from Zion Prospector, and this material is from Utah, and it is exclusive to Utah, but I love the banding. It kind of reminds me of the sandstone, but in a different kind of color, but it's so cool, and it stands on its corner like that. And this next piece is a agate. I just love the coloring. I believe this one came from the Minnesota Gem Show. I paid 80 
$35 for it. Really beautiful banding, really beautiful mustard color, and I love the pink. It's just such a gorgeous piece. Next piece is this flower agate skull with a little pink nose. This one is from my supplier. I just love the quality, and I love the pink and the green on the side and the yellow. It just has such a beautiful range of colors, and this comes from Madagascar. Next is this charite cube. This comes from Russia. I had bought three of these, and it took me forever to sell the other two. So I just decided to keep this one. This one was the best quality and the best color. I still really like this piece. Next is a Malangano Jasper Pyramid. This one is just really colorful. And I do remember the price. This one I paid $18 for. I can't remember where I got it from, but I really love this material. I want to get more of it eventually. Next is this super cool piece. This actually came from my supplier. It came from a batch of garden quartz and I'm not sure what makes this so incredibly orange but I just love it. I was gonna sell it but I was like I have never seen orange like that before so I ended up keeping it. It's just a really it almost looks like candy. It's just a really cool piece and I was like I'll probably never see a piece like that again so that's usually when I decide to keep something. Next is an ibis jasper pyramid. I love this because it was so pink and I love the pink and the brown together. This comes from Madagascar and this I paid $20 for which is a very very good price for such a big pyramid piece. Next is another agate. This one has this amazing black druzy surrounded by this orange. It is so stunning. I picked this one up at the Minnesota Gem Show. I paid $48 for it and it is super beautiful. Next is another agate from the same vendor. This has a gorgeous red and blue color combo and then you can see there's like a Troidal formation in the middle. This I paid $55 for and I love getting my agates from this vendor. He just has like the best stuff and I only run into him twice a year at the Minnesota gym show. Next is a rose calcite tower. This is the only rose calcite I have in my whole collection. This I also got at the Minnesota gym show. I can't remember the vendor's name but they had a really beautiful pink booth set up. I'll add their booth name if I remember it but I paid $18 for this piece and these come from Pakistan. This next piece I think is tangerine quartz. I can't remember a hundred percent or it's iron coated, hematite coated from Brazil. I got this piece from Allen at Earth Glow. It has a rainbow in there but I love this piece. It's just raw, beautiful. I love the color and yes I do leave the price tags on some of these because sometimes people ask me what I paid and it's interesting to see what they're priced at as well. That's just my two cents. <laughs> this piece is is so funny. I was gonna get rid of this piece but it's a star. It's from my five below burning crystals video and it's just a simple howlite top polish point. Really cute, really simple. I think this is the only piece of howlite I have in my collection. Next is this honeycomb calcite buffalo. I now actually know the vendor of this piece and where to get these pieces. As you guys know I have these in my shop now but it's so funny back when I was very first collecting I was like oh my god I wish I could carry those in my shop and now I do. This is a honeycomb calcite from Utah carved in Mexico. Next is a petrified wood sphere. I actually just did an unboxing with this piece so this is a very new piece to my collection. I absolutely love the colors and the swirls. It's just a really really fun piece. It just really spoke to me. I don't have a ton of spheres in my collection, so when I see a good sphere, I have to get it. And it sits in this moon bowl. This is a Mookite moon bowl. It's a very chunky one. I paid $61 for this, and this came from New York State of Mine. Next is another one of these Ibis Jasper pyramids. I personally love pyramids, but I don't sell them because every time I've tried, they just will not sell. People don't like the shape, but I personally am a huge fan of pyramids and it's a shape you actually don't see that often anymore but if you guys love pyramids let me know in the comment section down below and the last piece on the shelf is this little onyx dolphin pair I love the pink and the red and the green and the brown together this is made in Pakistan paid only 19 bucks for this little beauty and yeah I just thought it was really cute I have a few dolphin carvings so I thought this one fit nicely with the rest of them all right I'm gonna take you over to the second half of the room with which has 
just as many if not more crystals in it i do have my showcase over there and all of my crystal fairy aura pieces so let's head over there next all right you guys so this little section is a majority of my crystal fairy section let me just straighten this out here there we go so i probably won't go through every single crystal in detail but i will go through them all so starting off we'll start with this piece this was a brand new piece i just got from the crystal fairy and the color is impeccable this is a raw piece of clear quartz coated in this beautiful beautiful aura i get lost looking in this piece it's so incredible next is this celestial piece this is a newer piece that i just got from her and it's in the sunset aura and again the color immaculate the size immaculate completely raw and treated raw and i love sunset next is a little celestial piece these celestials just take the aura so beautifully this is an angel aura little raw celestial piece next is this gorgeous clear quartz chunk coated in the angel aura and it's just the color is incredible i love this piece i love all the raw pieces next is a little black magic lumerian gorgeous gorgeous this is another brand new piece so i'm going through the newer pieces quicker just because i just did a haul <laughs> this is another pink and green celestial point and this one don't know if this is from the crystal fairy or from a gem show but it's a pink spirit quartz I love the way the light reflects off of it. Next we have a giant sunset DT. I love these jumbo DTs. They are so incredible and sunset's my favorite aura color. So I'm so happy I got a piece in the sunset in this jumbo size. Next is this hybrid piece. I love this piece. The detail is stunning. I love hybrid. You get two different aura colors in one. This is a, another hybrid from the Crystal Fairy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You guys are gonna judge me with how many of the same crystal I have. <laughs> this is a mini version. This is actually an orange aura. I don't know if she does this color anymore. I'll show these two pieces together. I have this little point and this Vera. I can't tell if those are focused. I do have a random chlorite piece in here, which I think I will replace with a aura piece, but I liked it in here for now. This is from Chakra Gem Jewels, Felicia, and it's a high quality piece chlorite from India. Next is a pink polished wand from the Crystal Fairy. I love the DTs, I have a million of these. <laughs> this is an amethyst stalactite piece coated in the sunset. This was one of the first pieces I got from her and I absolutely adore it. These are the next two aura pieces. This one I just got from her. It's a little Lumerian hybrid. And this one I actually got at a gem show. I paid 10 bucks for it. I love the little clusters. They're like some of my favorite pieces in aura. This was another one of the very first pieces I got from the Crystal Fairy. It's a little hybrid Lumerian cluster. Insanely stunning. Next are these two blue aura I think these are the Tanzan Aura pieces. They're raw and beautiful. <laughs> I love the Tanzan color. It's my favorite next to the green and pink. This next piece is Witch Finger in the blue Tanzan, but look at the pink on this. This is maybe one of my ultimate favorite pieces. Next is this Sunset Lumerian Point. Gorgeous color. It's like a little Witch Finger wand. Next is a little Sunset Fodden piece. Takes the sunset beautifully. Next is one of her Vogels. This is an Angel Aura Vogel. I love spinning them. They're so magical and they're sharp. <laughs> we have a mini Vogel in the Angel Aura. We have a Lemon DT Vogel. Again, love spinning these. I love the lemon color too. Then we have a little Tree of Life Aura Coated Pendant in the Sunset Aura. And I just like keeping it in here with the other Aura pieces. Then we have some mini Rhodochrosite pieces. I have a Rhodochrosite Tower. This is from Allen at Earth Glow. And then two Rhodochrosite Pyramids. I think these are also from Allen. Here is the first one. This one I paid 39 and then this gorgeous little pyramid. This one I paid 43 This next piece you guys are maybe going to recognize. <laughs> this was a piece I kept from my Brazilian haul. It's an Alestial, polished Alestial. I have actually a big one that I might actually put this one next to. 
just because I think it makes more sense. But it's so gorgeous. I will get more of these because they sold out really fast. I love this piece. Then I have a Bolivian night sphere. Again, I don't have a lot of spheres, but this one is from Peru. And then I have a little pink amethyst piece on a stand, and I love the green and the pink, and I love the druzy. This one is from Brazil, and this is from Jen at Earth Prescribed. That's it for this little section, and we'll move on over to the next section. Okay, you guys, this next section is a big one. This is a lot of aura pieces from the Crystal Fairy. This is where a majority of my aura collection is. So let's get started. <laughs> Look at how pretty that looks. The first two pieces I'm gonna share are these rainbow aura pieces. Don't they look incredible on camera? These are like some of my favorites. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And I also have a Lumerian in that same aura. These are two little DTs, one in rainbow aura and one in angel aura. And I also have a little aura moon from my friend JC over at Lunar Queen Crystals. Then this is the bowl that holds all these crystals. This is from the Crystal Fairy, of course. She's a chunky bowl. And I'll actually move these pieces off so I can show you the slab underneath. This is the next piece I have. It's a hybrid Lumerian. I love the two-tone colors. Next is this gorgeous quartz cluster with angel aura. It's spectacular. It's even treated on the back side. Next is another Lumerian in Angel Aura. has a gorgeous blue and pink flash on it. And then we have another hybrid. This is one of the bigger hybrid pieces I have. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to show you this big orca slab. This I got a while ago. It's from Schematic Crystals on Etsy, and I love it. The orbs, the color, everything about it. And then I think, yeah, the back is just as beautiful. One of my favorite slabs. I love slabs exactly for this reason. Next, I'm going to show you what's in this little case here. This is not full up yet, but it will be. The first piece is this pink amethyst tower. This is from, you guessed it, <laughs> Felicia over at Chakra Gem Duels. And I love the big jumbo quartz on it. Next, there's a little Tiffany stone tumble in here, which I actually am going to move to my little tumble bowl, so you may see this little friend again. Next is this agate piece. This is actually also from Felicia over at Chakra Gem Jewels. I'm actually going to be putting a lot of my Chakra Gem Jewel pieces in that little case, some of my favorite ones, and put a little light in there. Next piece is this stunning pink amethyst tower from Chakra Gem Jewels. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just love the big jersey cape on the front. So these all live in here. And then I will put some of her other pieces in here once I figure out what I want them to look like. But I love this little, it's like a little lantern. I got this from Hobby Lobby and I love how the little crystals just look in there. But I will be filling it up. First piece over here is a crystal fairy piece. This is a stunning green stalactite piece. It almost looks like an amoeba <laughs> in, a, in the best way. It's got a little stand. Next is this gorgeous aura spirit quartz. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is a little spirit quartz castle and I love the way this one took the aura. It's a big piece too. One of my favorites. Next is this Amethyst DT from the Crystal Fairy. I love this. This is the only piece I have like this. Next, these are two pieces gifted from Felicia. One is a, I believe this one is a Herkimer Diamond from New York. And this one I think is a piece of chlorite from India, but they're just two little DTs. She knows I love DTs. I know she loves DTs. So they sit right there. Next is another raw piece from the Crystal Fairy. This is Rose Quartz with Angel Aura. Next is a, another stalactite piece. I think this one has the Sunset Aura. This one kind of looks like an animal to me. And I love the edges. I do need to add some crystals on top of this piece. Next is this Fodden. I love Fodden, it's so underrated. But this feels like a little magical wand from Harry Potter. Beautiful pink and green aura. I'm actually gonna move the pieces off here so you can see. I love how the blur looks for these. This is a Sunset Spirit Quartz from the Crystal Fairy. 
This is the only sunset one I have. Next is this amethyst stalactite, or amethyst flower, I should say. This is a very heavy piece. This is again from the Crystal Fairy. This is probably one of my favorite pieces because it just shines so beautifully. Next, if you almost look twice, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> this is a very baby little Lumerian hybrid cluster. I might actually put this one over in the first tray because I feel like it's getting a little lost on the slab. Oh, this piece stole my heart. Look at that. This is just the bottom. It's a Lumerian insane cluster in the sunset. This is again <laughs> one of my favorite pieces. Stunning, 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 stunning. <laughs> I love her. And then this piece, <laughs> it's in the little hole right there. This is another little spirit quartz, but it just has like this little skirt on. I love this piece. She's so dainty. I have a big collection of spirit cords, as you can tell. And then I'll show you this big slab here. So this is a pink amethyst slab. I got a hell of a deal on it from B Sage and Crystals. It is very chunky, and I love it as a display slab. And this one I think I got for like $70, but I love it. It's one of my faves, and it holds some of my most treasured pieces. All right, and then we'll move over just a little bit over here. Start in the back of this sunset coffin from the Crystal Fairy. I do want to put a special di display piece on top of this. Maybe even this piece. Maybe like that. I like how that looks. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even see it. <laughs> it looks like this. So I think I'll have it like that. The next piece is this citrine tower. This is a smoky citrine one of many that I own that are in this room. And you guys, I forgot why I love this piece so much, but the rainbows on it are out of this world. They truly are. They're breathtaking. So this is sitting next to my money bowl. I used to have this one in my bedroom because I have loved it so much, but I've heard many times that you shouldn't put citrine in your bedroom. So she's living down here now. <laughs> But this I got from New York State of Mine, $110. Next is this huge citrine cathedral. Oh my gosh, this actually might go in my showcase. She's real heavy, you guys. She is all self-healed on the bottom. She has rainbows. I forgot I actually own this piece because it's so incredible. I think this one I will honestly put in my showcase. So if you see it in there, again because I moved her. Okay, she's in the showcase now. Next is this spirit in the rainbow aura. I just wanted a big version of those little ones. Then we have two more DTs here, one in lemon and one in pink. And when I show you the crystals in the upstairs section of my house, I'll show you the rest of my crystal fairy pieces because believe it or not, this is not all of them. <laughs> and then on here we have a little unicorn, which this one actually might fit in the little tray I showed in the beginning. And then this slab, this is a selenite aura slab, and this I got from Lilac Road Crystal. She's been a longtime Patreon member and a friend, and I absolutely love this piece, so go check her shop out because she has some insane pieces. And this is truly the perfect base for some of my aura pieces. And then next we have this little bowl. So in here we have a little angel aura raw piece. This is actually, you know, this is a green amethyst and it's just so pretty. Next is this bodden. Just has like the craziest energy. It's like a zippy energy. <laughs> insane and then of course the gorgeous faceted aura bowl which the other bowl i have upstairs which i will bring down here eventually because i want it i want them to be together 
And next, this is my money bowl. I'm not gonna get too much into this because I wanna make a separate video on my money bowl, but there's a ton of crystals in there. I'll just name a few. We have some selenite. So let me actually just take all of this stuff out. So there's three citrine towers, three different shades of citrine towers and a clear quartz tower. There is a smoky quartz money toad, rutile money toad. There's some Mayan carvings in there, Guatemalan jade. There's some Himalayan quartz in there, which is some of the most powerful quartz in the world. There are some pieces of opal. There's pyrite and pink calcite, and then the whole bottom of it is filled with citrine chips. So I will make a separate video on this bowl. And next we'll move over to the specimen slash collector's case. All right, you guys, this is the top of my specimen case. Let me turn the lights on for you. Now this is in a kind of a tight corner, so I'm gonna do my best to show you these pieces. The first piece in here is this absolutely gorgeous piece. This is actually a piece of barrel and it is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It was very expensive. I got this from the same vendor as my Lavender Moon Quartz supplier in Tucson and Denver, but it's like the most stunning piece in my collection. One of my absolute, absolute favorite. One of the most expensive pieces as well. One of the next pieces is this aquamarine money toad. If you guys don't know about my money toad obsession, welcome. Welcome to the money toad obsession. This is a just aquamarine money toad. Very expensive master carved piece. The next piece is this insanely gorgeous aquamarine specimen this one has a hexagon right in the center which makes it so special the color on this is incredible it is a very large piece one of my absolute favorites and i have its little brother here and i was going to sell the Kunzite and Aquamarine I bought. It turns out the mine was sold to China. So now they own the mine. So the price of the material is going to skyrocket. And I just don't want to sell these pieces anymore. I think I sold two. But I'm going to be keeping the rest for my personal collection. So from the same supplier is this gorgeous Kunzite. Absolutely stunning. This one is actually a heart. <laughs> This is I got in Tucson. And again, the mine is now sold. So they won't be able to access the material as well anymore. And it's said that the prices might go up. So this is one I am hanging on to. Gorgeous, gorgeous collector's piece of kunzite. And then I bought this little piece of kunzite. It was from a friend who was actually closing her crystal shop and she was selling off some of her nicer pieces. So I bought this one for a steal at like 16 bucks. I also have some other kunzite pieces that I need to add back in here that I was gonna sell, but I am actually no longer selling. Next piece is this, the blue amphibole polished piece from Brazil. This has rainbows. It's from O Crystal Honey. And I have some of my favorite high quality pieces from her shop. Next is this gorgeous opal piece. This one I got at the North Carolina Gem and Mineral Show. It was very expensive. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite pieces and I love how translucent it is. Next is the newest piece to be added. It's this Epido and Quartz from Turkey. I just got this at the Denver Gem Show and I am in love. She stands in many ways. She's so sparkly. Next piece in here is from Utah and I am totally blanking on the name. Oh my gosh, I cannot remember. <laughs> but it's the turquoise color. I don't know why I can't remember the name. It's been like two hours of me filming this so far, so that's probably why I'm a little loopy. But look at the polish. Oh, um, Barasite? Barasite, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, but I've been on the hunt for these for my shop forever, and I've only gotten one in my personal collection. 
Okay, now for the bigger pieces on the second shelf. So this next piece is a piece of Himalayan quartz. I got this from Felicia over at Chakra Gem Jewels. Look at that sheen. Crazy. Crazy piece. This is the best angle. It's just so stunning. Everything about this piece is insane. And it's a little bit smoky too, which is... And there's, there's actually rutile in here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Okay, the next pieces are very heavy. <laughs> so I might actually lower this down because I need both hands and it's kind of hiked up. Okay, down we, down we go. This is the next piece. This is also Himalayan. Look at the rainbow. This piece is crazy. I bought this from Tucson, from my favorite Indian supplier. In the sheen again. Incredible. Rainbows. Incredible. Everything about this piece is stunning. I did get a deal on it. That's why it's here. <laughs> and I couldn't sell it. It's like so gothic. I love it. This is one of my biggest clusters. This is from that same vendor. This is a gorgeous Himalayan piece. Huge cluster. And it has, this is actually a pink Himalayan, but that is what she looks like from India. And these are all mined by hand, which is why they are so expensive. But I want to get an even bigger one eventually. But this one's pretty darn big. Next is a pink halite piece. This comes from Searles Lake. This is no longer being mined, but this is one of the pinkest pieces. And this is the one I decided to keep. <laughs> this next one is another big, big baby. This is a gorgeous pink amethyst from Felicia at Chakra Gem Jewels. She is very, very betroidally. She doesn't fit on the screen. From Brazil, of course. More traditional on the backside. But she is all bling bling in the front. She's heavy. <laughs> my arm is like, oof. This next piece is one of my favorites, one of the most unique pieces. Unfortunately, it's from a crystal shop that is no longer in business, but it's still beautiful. This is a super dark smoky citrine. It is citrine, even though it looks like smoky, but look at the side. It's crazy. It's almost black. It's sorry for my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> It's almost like a mirror, black mirror. I'll try to put the images that the shop owner took from her YouTube video from Pretty Crystals. This is probably one of the most expensive pieces, but it's one of the coolest and one of the moodiest pieces. She's huge and my arm's about to fall off. <laughs> First off, I have to go pick up another crystal. If you were with me last weekend, we picked up a big, beautiful piece of kunzite for one of my customers because I had to ship it out. And also we went crystal shopping. So if you saw that video, you may have seen these beautiful, dark, smoky citrine towers. Those were the pieces that I got the most messages about on Instagram. You loved them so much and they are so stunning. So I sold the smaller piece, which is really exciting actually to another YouTuber here. You may know her, uh, Cold Brew Barbie. I should probably message her and make sure she's okay with me like putting this in here. But I was like, oh, it's like getting, uh, like having a celebrity customer almost. Yes cold brew Barbie bought one of my pieces and it was so exciting because a it's always like very very flattering and just exciting for me when another shop owner buys one of my pieces and she is pretty big on YouTube and I've been following her for a little bit so very exciting and I'm gonna go pick up her piece this next piece I got in Denver I'm gonna use my other arm actually no I got this in Tucson Hello rainbows. <laughs> I forgot this piece has like the most insane rainbows. This is an Alestial tower. It's polished. She is 
very, very heavy. But insanely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, my arms are <laughs> literally gonna break off. But this is probably one of my favorite pieces in the rainbow. Stunning. Ooh, I can't hold her anymore. Okay, I always forget the name of this crystal and you guys always ask me. <laughs> this was from my supplier. It's a million pounds. But it is so cool. <laughs> it's a specimen. It's crazy. I'll put the name down below, I promise. I know I'm not doing a very good job showing crystals anymore, I'm sorry. I've got one more massive piece, and then I'll show you my spheres. This doesn't look that special, but it is. <laughs> this is Epido in Quartz from Brazil. Let me get to the good part. Look at that. This I picked up in Denver. And she is huge. Look at my arm shaking. <laughs> I gotta be honest, you guys, I'm getting a little, a little tired. I thought I was gonna film my whole collection today, but I just, I can't. <laughs> it's too much. So, this is one of my favorite spheres. I got this from a wholesaler in Tucson, and I was gonna sell her, but then I was like, nope. She's my little Pac-Man sphere, and I love her. She's pink amethyst from Brazil. And she's one of the most beautiful spheres that I own. Next is this Orby Ocean Jasper with black jersey. I got this from my supplier and I couldn't let her go. One of the highest quality pieces. And she's stunning. And I love the blue and orange on her. Next is this little sugary Pac-Man. I get an amethyst. Look at the teeth. Beautiful banding. This was in my supplier's personal collection <laughs> and he let me have her. And then we've got the big daddy ocean jasper sphere. There she is in all her glory. I'm not gonna hold this for very long cause she's heavy. She's full of quartz in color. And I love her. She's got a big jersey pocket. Okay, I have a full video of me unboxing her when I very first got her on my YouTube channel, if you want to see it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is so big. Like, look at the size of this sphere. Look at this sphere, you guys. How gorgeous is this? Oh my god, I am gonna put this on a stand and film it for you guys close up just because I don't think this is doing it justice just because, oh my god, it's so heavy. This is like bowling ball heavy, just so you know. But holy crystal. <laughs> First up, I have this set of tumbles. These have been gifted to me. And then this onyx bowl I got from Pink Crystal Tea. I did want to show this little Himalayan gem. Because she is remarkable. Now this piece. So this is red copper rutile from my supplier. I could never bring myself to sell it. As you can see, it's insane. It is polished but raw right here. And I do have a few other pieces on my desk that I'm just gonna bring over here. This next piece was in a more recent haul. It is carnelian and moss agate. Great quality. Then I have this carnelian and moss agate skull with a gorgeous druzy. I love this. Then we have this little chip tree. This was Botswana Agate. She focused a little better back here, so I'm just gonna keep her there. Botswana Agate Chip Tree. Next is this Carnelian Freeform. I got this at the Minnesota Jump Show for 43. Next is one of my favorite pieces of Tiffany Stone. This I got from a Zion Prospector. She was a pretty penny, maybe over 300. 
but one of my favorite pieces her sister her little sister is up in my bedroom but look at the crazy color on her next is a little blue onyx armadillo this i got from tucson this is the one i decided to keep i also kept a bigger one but he's so cute <laughs> this came from my Supplier from Argentina who sells my Ritocrosite. Next is a Garden Quartz from O Crystal Honey. It has Rutel and Garden. And it's a phenomenal little piece. I love the colors and the rainbows and the Rutel. Pink Amethyst Popsicle. Popsicle. <laughs> it's a little cut candy pink amethyst on a stand. Both of these are from Jen over at Earth Prescribed. And let me grab the other pieces. First piece is a rutilated smoky quartz money toad twin. This is a pretty spectacular piece with some pretty spectacular rutile. Next is my big rutile money toad. I can't believe I own this. Hopefully it's in frame because I cannot see. She is large and in charge and stunning. Probably one of the better pieces in my collection. But look at the rutile on her. She's probably 10 pounds. She's gorgeous. And then I have two more pink amethyst pieces and that'll wrap up this room. <laughs> I still have some other pieces that I wanna show you, but they're not in here. So we've got this pink amethyst piece. This is from Felicia over at Chakra Gem Jewels. It sits really beautifully over here and this piece also from Felicia over at Chakra Gem Jewels. I love these two pieces together. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take you off tripod and I'm gonna show you the last pieces in my collection on the first floor. Okay, now I don't have the ring light for these pieces so hopefully the lighting is okay. This is from Felicia. This sits on my entryway hall table here from Brazil. She's a big juicy piece, <laughs> but she sits in my front hall. The next two pieces are over on my fireplace. These are the two pieces I kept from the Carnelian collection. They just are stunning. Sorry, the lighting is just not as great over here, but you know, it is what it is. And then moving down here, we have an Amethyst Cathedral. Moving over here, we have my Money Toad family in Moss Agate. We have a giant smoky quartz. It's gorgeous, it's untreated, it has garden quartz in it, and it has rainbows. Gucci, you wanna close out the video? I think that is the end of the crystal collection sharing. Thank you guys so much for you can see me. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this wasn't too long or too boring. <laughs> that was just my first floor. If you want to see the upstairs collection, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. That's the only way I'm going to show it. If you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!